I am gratified to be able to report to you that I found that the members of the Dollar Export Board hold the views I do on the approach which Britain must make to closing the dollar gap. That approach is that British manufacturers must use every means in their grasp and must apply the most skillful and imaginative techniques to earn more dollars. They must stimulate the movement of trade to the huge dollar market which beckons to them. They must export more goods uh, to this vast dollar area. British manufacturers have not yet begun to tap the huge reservoir of American buying power. It is a very large market. In 1948, its gross national product was $254 billion. Just 1% more of that sum spent on British goods, 1%, and the dollar gap can be closed. I do want to stress that to get that 1% will take energetic salesmanship as well as low-cost production. Speaking for my own country, I can assure you that the great mass of Americans entertain toward the British people feelings of deep and abiding friendship. On both sides of the Atlantic, we know that our countries and the Commonwealth must stand together and work together and stick together, along with all the free nations, if we are to realize our hopes for economic success and lasting peace for the world.